stacks, spend Venmo stash. Too many ways for you to run my cash. Cut the check, reparation. 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 Talking compensation, it's about that time. You get everybody. That boy got lightning. Uh, yeah, what up, y'all? What's, what's good? So, we got the flim flam and the overlay on the underplay, and we're gonna break it down for you. It says, Is the black democrat rep from Georgia who switched parties delusional to think that black folks will still vote for her? Well, this is a Yahoo's news article, so you gotta keep one eye up. I guess they're talking about this sister here. Um, Let's see how they try to go in on her. It says Georgia State Representative Misha Maynard is sticking by her decision to switch political parties. Last Tuesday, State Representative Misha Mayer uh, announced that she was leaving the Democratic Party for the GOP. The move makes the minor the first black woman to serve as a Republican in Georgia's uh, General Assembly. And it also means that voters in her deep blue Atlanta district will now be represented by a Republican. Now, is that good or bad? It says in an interview with Politico's Brandon Booker, says Minor claims that uh, her constituents still support her. My constituents, we have a relationship. They're saying to me, I'm still supporting you. They're texting me and emailing me to say, I still support you, she told Politico. Um, Prior to what she's saying is right, on code as they should be. Because we don't right. care about parties. We care nah, about the code not. first. That's right. That's right. Prior to switching parties, Manor told Adios, Axios that she would never abandon the Democrats, but she is singing a different tune. Oh, they trying to. OK, this is like a hit piece. They don't like that. She oh, probably knows too much. Yeah, they, they know she know too much about the Democratic strategy <laughs> and don't like that. She's switching up like that. That's all what uh, she got to do what she got to do for her. When it comes to the politics, it was the Democrats for us. Yeah, that's all I knew. This is what the majority of black folks knew. We just know how to be Democrats, she said. Now I'm a moderate centrist on the Republican side. So basically, I'm the same person, same priorities, same values with an R next to my name. Way less headaches, and I'll be able to get way more done for my community. Hmm. Um, boom, bam, just like that. If you need to know how to tell your family, tell your boss, tell whoever you need to tell why you're making the decision you're making, she just told you how to do it. Boom. That was nice and concise to the point. It says Maynard has uh, famously clashed with her party over school vouchers, but she has also called that the famous uh, Georgia Democrat is pushing her out of her party, namely former gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams. And we already know what kind of person Stacey Abrams is. I can see how they could clash. Akuna Matata. Right. <laughs> In the 2022, with me being an incumbent, Stacey Abrams and her team endorsed opponent Kiana Jones in the primary. I won more than 65% of the vote, noted Maynard, when discussing her reasons for leaving the, uh, the party, Politico said. Regardless of her reasoning, members of Maynard's former party were quick to call her out for playing bait and switch with her constituents. Ah, we don't want to hear that. Y'all sound mad. However, How Republican bait and switch if they already told you we supporting and we with that. So you can't be you can't talk out the side of your neck like yeah. she didn't just yeah. say what happened. Right. Yeah. Right. However, Republicans like Congresswoman Mar Marjorie Taylor Greene applauded the move. Welcome. We don't want to hear party. about her, though. Yeah, he stop, stop. You're coming in. Let you know, let me remind y'all who that is real quick. Uh, this is her, and she is one of them. Uh, you can just look at her and tell. You can look. She got that look, don't she? Don't she got that look? Mm -hmm. Mar she don't do. she look like she, she? She like guys that say America. Probably right now. <laughs> if you say America, she's in love with you. Uh, but secretly. She's getting mandingoed. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, she did. And the dude likes pussy, too. He's a cop oh, oh, yeah, she did 20 black dudes in college, allegedly. I'm telling Alleg you. The yeah, football allegedly. Team. 
the whole thing. Maynard previously vowed to run again this cycle, and she told Politico that she expects to win despite the R being next to her name. They just don't like her confidence. They don't like her switching up and doing what she needed to do for her. They thought that she was going to be a willing shilling for the Democratic Party. Now, let's see what she does on the other side. So, you know, what y'all should learn or what you should take away. We learn, kids. It's okay to do what you need to do because ain't the, most of the time the establishment ain't looking out for you. But in this case, uh, she said what she said. It didn't sound like too much cooning. So you always got to keep your eye out and pay attention got to the to. paper. Got to, you know what I'm saying? They got to, politicians got to constantly prove they love. They don't just get to do one thing and they, and they just be cool and you settle with it. They got to constantly prove it because that's their job because they constantly want your ass to vote. Think about that. Think about that. Period. Bars. Hello. Bars. Next Lizzo. You can't say, well, well, they did pass the woo the woo law that benefited everybody that uh we directly, indirectly benefited from. Nah, you can't do that, fam. You gotta make them constantly prove it because your vote should be up for sale. Anyway, I ain't gonna hold you. But I'm a moja foja and scoja about being on code. And I got the four words. And it's subscribe if you're live, like for the spike, comment your vomit, share if you dare. If you ain't scared, you a real old player. And I say where, and I say over there on the platforms. Get it on on the platform. John, nah, man. Ha! Couldn't think about no bars. Okay. Uh, and I got four words for you <laughs> love. Ooh. Yeah, those bars are sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to recover real quick. I just fell off. Love, peace, blessings, and aloha. You know I'm out to Doha for show ha. You know I already got to go ha. Finna blow this pop stand, buddy.